So I'm in my van today, trying to install a TV screen that I can use as a com as a computer monitor, but it's a fucking pain in the ass. I've been to two different shops and got two different mounts. They've both been close to fucking useless. I had to take this back panel on and off about a hundred times to reinforce it. But nothing, nothing. You very few things you buy are good quality. They're just slapped together, and they're made. Oh, they're just fucking shit. This screen, it's a cheap screen from Audi. It works great, the picture's clear and all that, but I got a cheap one in case the whole thing falls off the wall. It was only like 90 bucks, so if it falls off and smashes and lands on the floor while I'm driving, it's not a big deal. So it's a bit of an experiment first, but they have the power lead and the other cord I need to plug into my, my computer coming straight out of the back, straight out of the back, right in the center and this brace has to connect right in the center and when you put it off to the side it fucking tilts like this and the little thing that's supposed to hold the whole bracket straight doesn't work for shit the TV if you buy a wall mount system for it it only has two holes to put your screws in so again, this brace can't be lined up. If I try and line it also up the centre, as I said, these won't come out of it because the brace covers the plug holes. I don't know why they don't put the fucking plug holes in the side like this so everything can stay flat. It's a fucking nuisance. I don't know how I'm going to fix it. It's a bloody... It's taken me... three hours to take the thing on and off, on and off, on and off, and now that it's on, it's not going to fit. It's a fucking nuisance, and I wanted it. Well, I didn't want to screw it straight to the wall, not that I can, because the mount shit. But because the wall's on a same as this, like it's on an in, inward tilt, so I need it so I can pull it out, so it's at least the right level. And it's a pain in the ass. And just to be extra helpful, when you buy this wall brace, it doesn't come with any bolts or screws. When you buy the TV and the mount doesn't come with any bolts or screws so you don't know what you're supposed to do you have to take the whole thing to the hardware shop and open all the packets and go through the stuff to see which one fits the fucking new, fucking pain in the ass. if you're into a some sort of business that makes shit, fuck, do a good job don't do a fucking shit job fucking waste everyone's time I'll keep working on it. You can see a bit better here what I'm talking about with this brace. So it's a bit side on, but you can see. Like this TV only has two screw holes. So I either offset the whole bracket to the left, or I use these two screw holes and offset the whole bracket to the right. So that and I can't go to the right, because when I go to the right, that plug I'm talking about is here, the power plug, and the other one is here that's got to come straight out of the back. If they were on the sides, like these few are, wouldn't have any of this problem. The only other option I've got, which is not going to fix the problem, is I mount, I use these two holes and cut this brace out so I can get the power lead out, but that's going to be offset and off balance the whole thing the other way, so fucking pain in the ass. Well, I've had about enough for today. 
It's dark as you can see. I've only got the, my little headlamp here to work by. And it's cold. Doesn't look right now. But um had to go to the hardware shop four times today. It's a pain in my ass. I went to I bought a different computer screen. So I'm gonna have to take the first one back. The second one is much better because it's balanced up, balanced up and the brackets in the middle. And I fixed the wall mount, which is a pain in the ass. I spilled my fucking coffee twice, once in a box of nails. Went to the hardware shop specially to get some different screws and left the screws at home that I was supposed to take back and get the same but smaller. So I went to the hardware shop to get some screws to make the tally and come back with the wrong size screws. So now I've got to go for the fourth time today, four in the morning to get different screws. So I've done a lot today, but got very little done. So I've had a bit enough. As I said, it's dark and it's cold. And I've got to pack all my stuff up and head home. But at least tomorrow the TV part should be done and I don't think it'll fall off. I've ran the TV wire. And tomorrow I take the shower to drop the shower frame off and get made. So I found a place to do that. It wasn't too dear. So after I do that tomorrow, I might start my solar panels. But I'm not really sure how I'm gonna stick them on the roof. I don't wanna, a lot of people you can buy brackets and screw them in, but it's no big deal. But I don't really wanna screw holes in the roof. And on the other hand, I don't want to just glue them down with the Sikaflex stuff or whatever you use because I'm a bit worried they'll fly off, but apparently they don't or they won't or that stuff's pretty good. And a lot of caravan places and a lot of other places like that do just glue them down like that. I thought about getting some roof racks, but the roof racks were 750 bucks just to stick a solar panel on it. But it would be the neatest, but 750 bucks. And the brackets you can buy to screw the solar panels to your roof for 40 bucks, so there's a big difference there. Anyway, I'll pack up and I'll worry about it tomorrow. But I can't do much more. I can't put the wall back on that I took off behind the TV, because that's the same behind that wall I've got to run the wire from the solar panel down to the battery. Anyway, one thing at a time. See you soon.